fellow Toastmasters, me and my friends stared dumbfounded as a casket containing a dead body was unloaded from the van in front of us. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, four years ago, few of us friends decided to take a road trip to the northern areas. Initially, we decided to go to Swat, and we booked our van right from Karachi and the driver. When we landed at Islamabad, Islamabad airport, the driver, let's call him Jamshed. Jamshed was there to pick us up. And I just casually asked him that, was it possible to go to Girvi and Pakistan? Because it was April, we were in doubt that the, the roads would be slowed in, or perhaps there would be landslide. And he said that, yes, there is snow, but it's not snowing anymore. The roads are open and we can go there. So it was decided right there and then that we would go to Gilgit and Pakistan. We embarked on our journey. We got up on Karakaram Highway. Somewhere near Abbottabad, Jamshed, our driver, suggested to us that this place has the best damn chapli kebabs in the entire country. So why don't we stop? And of course we were hungry. Because, see, being driven around and seeing stunning landscapes, stunning work. So we said, yes, why not disembark here? So we went in for prayers and then came back to the restaurant that was serving chapli kebabs. We placed the order and we asked Jamshed to join us. And Jamshed told us that I've already had four. So thank you very much. We had our meal and then we resumed our journey. I was sitting on the front seat along with Jamshed and my friends were in the back. Jamshed was, he had this irritating habit of massaging his chest. <laughs> and also he was smoking something funny, too funny in fact. It was bothering me, but you know when in Rome, you don't object to any habits of the person in whose hand your life is. While passing through Chalas, I spied a sign. Welcome to Nanga Parvat, the killer mountain. And you know what? Don't you just know it? It got me. I said, stop right here. There were screams of protest from my friends because they asked me, excuse me, what are you planning to do? They told them, we'll take a hike to Fairy Meadows. Jamshed said, are you out of your mind? You are practically in your summer clothes. You don't have hiking equip equipment. And to be very honest, you don't seem to be the hiking type to me. <coughs> That's all the more reason that we go hiking. So we asked him to drop us at the Shangri-La Hotel, that is at the foot of the trail to Fairy Meadows. Just to give you some context, Nanga Parvat is one of the highest peaks in the world. It's more than 8,000 meters high. And the fairy meadows, which is effectively the base camp, is roughly at half the height. So it's pretty high. We disembarked at the Shangri-La Hotel, engaged guides and made our preparations. And we also asked Jamshed to join us. Jamshed said, no, sorry, I don't want to get killed. And I said, fine, that's, for, that's your right. Wait a minute, what? Do people die when they go up there? Jamshe said, I don't know, but I don't want to. It's so cold, it's dark, it's lonely. If you fall into a ravine, nobody would ever know. I said, fine, then we'll go to Fairy Meadows and then meet you right here tomorrow, late in the afternoon, and call you and you can pick us up. So the deal was done. We went to Fairy Meadows, had a wonderful, amazing time, came back. <coughs> My friend picked up the phone to call Jamshed. The 
call connectives, but no answer. <coughs> this went on for two hours. We all tried it. The phone was ringing, but there was no answer. Two hours later, my phone rang. It was from Jim Chase number, but it was not Jim Chase. It was another driver, and he said, I'll be taking you onwards because Jim Chase passed away last night. Believe me, we sat there still silent. 10 poor minutes. We didn't know what to do. We didn't know how to digest this piece of information. Then we called up the driver again and asked him what the hell happened. We learned that Jamshed had dropped us at Shangri-La and went on to Gilgit to dine and there at the restaurant his heart had failed. Later on, that other driver came to us and he asked us to check our luggage in the van. And also he unloaded the casket containing them shapes and dead portions. And we offered Janaza prayers for him. But to tell you the truth, at that time I thought to myself, why are we so foolish? You know, we risk our lives going up the mountain. But Jamshed also risked his life by perhaps having a heart problem and splurging on fat-filled food and smoking something funny. You know, death has many faces. It can come at any point in time. It needs no excuses. And you can reason all you want. But right there and then, we made a decision. We would never put our lives in needless danger. And on a daily basis, we do so many activities that is tantamount to risking our lives. We drive rashly. We don't keep the distance of the car in front. We eat funny stuff. We don't watch our habits. And you know, we do a thousand things every day that can lead us a sudden death. And yet, we don't care. Unless one of those things actually works. Over to you, Toastmasters. Thank you, Toastmasters.